This is RF hub, uh, the model we call it 4920 and it has 384 kilobytes of internal flash as well as 8 kilobytes of internal E square. Uh, we used the Unicam T to program the BDM method before. We can open the case and find the BDM pins and then use the Unicam T to connect to the BDM pins. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to program the device without open the case. Here is the connector and this is the 12 volt as well as the CAN high and CAN low. The CAN high and CAN low goes to the MCP2515 board and then connect to the Unicam T. Now this one has a 120 ohm resistor connect to it and I need another MCP2515 board, uh, put another 120 ohm resistor on it. The purpose of this setup is on the bench, we do not have any other de uh, CAM devices. We need to properly terminate the bus, which measure the CAM high and CAM low, should read 60 ohms. You need a version 1.65 to program it. So first, let's turn on the Union CAM T, and then power on the, the RF hub. The, uh, the window between the power on to hit detect is within five seconds. Uh, if longer than that, you may fail to detect and you probably need to power cycle again. So here I'm power on. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, and hit detect. Now we properly detect the uh, the flash. Uh, this, this 32 kilobyte is data flash. And the first block is P flash is 128 kilobyte and then 256. Let's read the uh, data. Let's read it and save it. And we also need to verify, make sure we have a good read. We do. So now let's go to the D flash. We save it and we verify it. And now we go to P flash one and we read. And let's verify it. Let's verify good. Let's read the P flash zero. And verify it. So now I'm going to demonstrate the erase and the programming process as I did before. So I can go into erase the P flash one. Let's say I'm going to erase it. And it is erased. Let's blank check it. It's blanked, so I can write. So let's do the, uh, let's blank check the PE flash zero, which will fail. We didn't erase it. I'm going to erase again. So the flash is not empty. Let's erase it. So erase the P flash zero. And we can blank check it. It's blanked. Now we can write the P flash zero. This is another model of the RF hub. Uh, this one has 512 kilobytes of internal flash, as well as it has an external E square. Uh, we, we also showed a video using the BDM method before. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Unicam T through the canvas to program it. Uh, same connection 
on the side with the 12 volt as well as the CAN bus, uh, CAN high and CAN low. You also need to terminate properly, measure the CAN high and CAN low resistance to be 60 ohm. Um, here is the configuration. Uh, let's select the folder. So a new folder is selected and the file save option to save auto save or we'll connect uh, then power on the 12 volt and within the five seconds and then we hit the detect so power on one two three four let's hit detect and we detect the data flash is 32 kilobyte and there's a 512 kilobyte of the flash now this chip has in external chip, uh, external EEPROM as well as the internal EEPROM, but the most important data is on the external EEPROM. So let's read it. And here we're going to save. And then we go to the internal EEPROM, uh, external EEPROM. Let's take a look. And then we can save it. Then we read the data flash. This one is empty, no data flash. But this one, 512 kilobyte of uh, flash. We need to make sure it reads good. So let's verify the 512 kilobyte flash has a good read. So also the external EEPROM is important. Let's verify the external EEPROM. Okay, now I'm going to erase the P flash, which is 512 kilobyte. So let's erase it. And let's blank check the flash. So now program the flash. It's funny here, the canvas method actually even programmed faster than the BDM method. So program passed. Now for EEPROM, we cannot erase the EEPROM. Let's try see if we can erase EEPROM because this is not a flash. So it's not a flash area. However, I can initialize it and then, oh, we can, we can blank check if the EEPROM square is blank, it's not. So now I'm going to write the EEPROM. Okay, I'm writing all the FFs in there. And now let's blank check if the EEPROM is even blanked. So let's program the EEPROM back, uh, external EEPROM, and I can click it and we can verify they do.